every year we have Palm Sunday. Every year we have a slightly different reading. This, the Gospel of Mark, we have not heard in seven years. For six years, we've heard Luke. It is on Calvary where the Lord Jesus has his final meeting with a sinner, and he threw open the gates of his kingdom for that sinner too. In the Gospel of Luke, it is interesting. It is the only time that the word paradise appears in any of the Gospels. Jesus promises paradise to a poor devil who, on the wood of the cross next to him, had the courage to proffer him the most humble of requests. Remember me when you have entered your kingdom. I rather miss that in the Mark version. That criminal had no good works to assert. He had nothing. But he entrusted himself to Jesus, whom he recognized as innocent, good, so very different from himself. But he kept the other criminal from abusing Jesus, defending him, and simply asked, Remember me. Those words of humble remorse were enough to touch Jesus' heart at this time of his greatest pain, at this time of his greatest loneliness. For no one else could know his pain at that time. He was so totally alone. He was forsaken, or so he thought. He felt abandoned, for he could not call upon his father. He had to die, because he was the sacrifice for all of our sins. His loneliness, his pain, his sorrow, the love he felt for all of his friends and would feel for all of us was there. And then he turned to that criminal and all of that love at one time was witness unto that one man. The good thief reminds us of our true condition before God, that we are his children in a sinful but remorseful state, that he feels compassion for us, that he is defenseless each time we show our nostalgia for his love. And then he turns and shows us the very power of his love.